this is a large Milo tin, you can use a smaller one. And what you need to do is put lots of holes in, in, the, in the lid. Okay, so you just bang a screwdriver through or an A or something like that. And I would say you need at least 10 holes. You can see there I've got quite a few. So that means that if you put green, green wood in, green sticks, the moisture in them is going to want to expand, turn to steam. Okay, so it's going to want to get out. So you need lots of holes for it to get out. Otherwise the lid will just pop off and it'll make a loud pop inside. And if it's facing the wrong way, perhaps it might damage the glass. So yeah, lots of holes. And what I'm using is this size, quite small, some bigger ones. And this is um, cut from the willow tree. So I'll show you the willow tree out. So I, it's lost all its its leaves there. You can see. Basically, I'm going to be pruning that. And as I prune it, the thicker stuff I just cut into those short lengths. Store them all up in a bucket and then basically every day once I've emptied out my biochar I just refill it. Quick and easy, there's no, no need to really stack it in. I don't have to stack it in too tight. Just fill it up as much as you can. The more you put in the better. Obviously, if you put slightly bigger wood, you wouldn't need to put as much in. You wouldn't do as many cuts. That just depends on what you've got on hand. It can be how you screen. I haven't tried brown wood yet. Brown wood's going to be probably harder to cut, depending on how good your loppers are, how hard the wood is. Well, I've just gone with this green willow stuff. I did read. Here, yeah, somewhere on the internet, someone was using willow and selling it as charcoal sticks for art artists to use. So you can imagine if you've got nice straight ones, so you probably wouldn't use this contorted, twisted willow, but nice straight ones that would make quite good charcoal. So that was a little in in enterprise that I heard someone talking about. That's where I got the idea to use our willow. So put the lid on nice and tight and then what I do is I put that into our wood fire um, just before I go to bed. So when there's nice hot coals, not big flames, um, can be relatively hot, it's fine. And usually just before you go to bed there's a bit of space so you just have to put it in it takes up the place of one, one log. So you put that in and then it will heat up, release all the, the gases and the moisture and all those will burn off so that generates heat continues just heating your room this is not wasted heat and then in the morning um, yeah, it, it, when the fire is out there, there will be biochar left it doesn't burn away to ash and I'm guessing over the winter you could get several several buckets and it's good because you've used the heat, you've used the energy for something else that's useful. Open the tin. So you can see the biochar and so on. You can't see, I'm going to tip it out into the bucket. There's really some before. Looks like that's what it looks like. I break it apart. There you can see it. And it's very light. 